Welcome to another video. We have some crazy limit problem here with two radical expressions in the numerator and the denominator. And remember, whenever you take a limit, the first thing you want to do is plug in the target point. If we plug in 2 into this, what you're going to get is 6 minus 2, which is 4. The square root of 4 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So there's a 0 in the denominator, which is never a problem. In fact, you should be happy. We go to the denominator and we plug in 2, we're going to end up with 3 minus 2, which is 1. The square root of 1 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, now that's a problem. So now you have 0 over 0 in a radical function, and you're trying to take the limit. And both of them have radicals. So ideally, if you have it only in the top, I would say rationalize the top, okay? And or if you had it only in the bottom, I would say rationalize or find a way. Again, it's going to a finite point, not infinity, so this is not easy to manipulate. So what should you do when you get a problem like this? Well, you have to rationalize, but you'll have to do it twice. Now, instead of rationalizing twice, I would recommend you rationalize once, twice. <laughs> Okay, you double rationalize. Do the top and bottom at the same time. That way, you save your time, you save your space, you save your money. Let's get into it. So because of space and the length of this rationalization, I am going to do the work on this side. Okay, so this is what you should do in order to solve this problem. We're going to say that this is equal to, let's move it here, the limit as x goes to 2 of, now I'm going to rationalize the top, so firstly you write this expression, it's going to be rad 6 minus x minus 2 divided by rad 3 minus x minus 1. So let's rationalize the top first. It's going to be multiplied by the conjugate of this is going to be the square root of 6 minus x plus 2. So remember, the sign of this is the sign you change, the sign between the radical and the other term. Okay? So don't change the sign in the middle under the radical. So here, we're going to divide this by the radical 6 minus x plus 2. So we've rationalized the top, simultaneously rationalized the bottom. Remember, the only reason you're doing this is because we've got a zero over zero situation. Otherwise, you don't need to do that, okay? Now, and both of them are radicals. So here, we're going to ra rationalize the bottom two. It's going to be the square root of 3 minus x plus 1 divided by the square root of 3 minus x plus 1. So everything now can be taken care of. And remember, what you're looking for is the difference of two squares every time you do rationalization because you want to see how easy your life could be. So let's look at the denominator. I know that I'm going to ignore this because this came from above. Let's deal with the ones from below. If you multiply this expression here by this expression, you can treat it as the difference of two squares. And every time you do that, when you rationalize any... Um, radical expression, any third, you treat this as if it was the difference of two squares, you can see. So you just square this, and you square this also. That's going to be your new denominator. So this is the limit as x goes to 2 of, in the denominator, you're going to have the square of this expression, which is just going to be 3 minus x. And you're going to have the square of this, which is going to be 1, so that's minus 1. That's what you have in the denominator. And it has its counterpart, which is this one here, the square root of 6 minus x plus 2. That's what you have down here. And on top, we do the same thing. This and this will behave the same way as these two have behaved. We're going to get rid of the square root sign, so it's going to give us 6 minus x. So we've removed the radical, and the square of this will be 4. So it's minus 4. That's what you have here. And then we didn't use this, so we just write it. It's going to be the square root 
of 3 minus x plus 1. Okay, so let's simplify further. Let's go, this is equal to a equal to, this is equal to the limit as x approaches 2. If we simplify this, 6 minus 4 is 2. So what you have here is 2 minus x multiplied by rad 3 minus x plus 1 over, if we simplify this, 3 minus 1 is 2. Oh, we got 2 minus x on both occasions. That's interesting. The square root of 6 minus x plus 2. Okay, now we clearly can cancel this out. You see that? This is the limit as x approaches 2 of this divides this. So what we have left is just rad 3 minus x plus 1 divided by rad 6 minus x plus 2. Well, let's see if plugging in 2 would give us the answer. If I plug in 2 into this expression, it's going to be the square root of 3 minus 2. What is 3 minus 2? 1. Oh, it's going to be? Okay, let's write it. 3 minus 2 plus 1. Plug in 2 here is going to be the square root of 6 minus 2 plus 2. Okay, what is this? 3 minus 2 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. This is going to be 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. Oh, I see. The final answer is 1 half. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.